Hi! Today is the continuation of the last video. Do you ever wonder if you can make your green stock look absolutely beautiful but have everything be edible? I think you can and I am going to be proving that today. If you want to see my review of the latest green stock, it is not a sponsor post. I really just wanted to show you my thoughts on the new version and the setup that I did to try to make it really pretty and go ahead and have it flourish. Go ahead and watch the latest video. And today I'm gonna concentrate on the plants that I'm gonna be using. I love to use plants that bring life to the green stock. I just want it to look beautiful, but I don't wanna waste any space. So I am going to first go through the plants that I grew from seed and go and pick the best ones, the ones that are doing really good so that I can go ahead and use them on this green stock. And I wanna combine flowers, color, and the textures of plants in this green stock. And I'm gonna show you exactly the plants that I grew and we're gonna keep up with it and see how they do, but I have the feeling it's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous green stock. I have a few in here, but I'm going to go ahead and get another tray and try to sort which are the ones that are going to go because some of these go on my garden beds. on one of my videos I show you how to grow this and I still have them I haven't planted these I'm gonna plant some of these in those uh, green stock look how beautiful they are they're doing really good but I need to plant them because when they start flowering in the container that means it's getting ready to make seeds one into my seeds so I want to get them in the green stock We're gonna do a purple basil. We're gonna do a, the arugula. This is the red dragon with a purple vein. We're going to do the red merlot, which is really beautiful red. This is my favorite lettuce. The purple bok choy. This, I know this is the cabbage red express. And there's a purple bok choy in here somewhere I have to go get. And then I have the strawberry spinach. And this is really nice. It gives a little red fruit, almost like a tiny raspberry you can eat. And lettuce devil's ear. I have the cabbage. I have the tom tom. These are little um, balls of lettuces that it develops. Really cute. And then the green shimmy shiji misai. I have some Palettes. This is like the green lettuces, except they're little kale florets, like little balls of kales. It's a mix. And I think I have them here. Let me see. It kind of grows like little balls like this. And the other one is similar, the kale one. And then the celosia. This is excellent to eat. You have to cook and not raw, but you can put it on soups and stews. And it gives the purple celosia flower, which you can eat when it's really tender and starting. So I'm going to try to grow this in the green stock. They will grow to six feet tall. You can control the size. So I'm going to put some on my secret garden also and just control the growth. But here, this is not really not much not much here like this is gonna be a perennial so i think i'll be able to control it pretty good but it's gorgeous look at the red and then i have some misuna which they get purple really pretty bok choy i have a purple bok choy i have to find it and then the lettuce lunix is similar to the merlot it's a little longer in look than the Merlot. I still like the Merlot a lot better. And I think this is Devil's Ear has two-toned type of uh, leaves on it with a little red veining. So this is a really pretty one too. 
and then I have some parsley and some cilantro so let me go find the bok choy that's the only one missing here are my purple bok choy seedlings I have four of them in here really nice they're beautiful I have this little tray I'm going to use to put the soil in it when I scoop it out. The very first thing I do is select my main anchor color, which is the really deep purple. So I start with a cabbage. You can start with a bok choy, cabbage, any larger plant that will anchor the color and be really large in scale for the green stock. It will really be a showstopper when you end up getting it to grow fully and look at the green stock. You're gonna look at that plant first and then travel down the green stock to look at the rest of the colors. Place the larger plant on the top because you don't want to create shadows on the bottom but when you place it on the top it's going to kind of grow up towards the sun more when i do that then i select the second color that's going to anchor the green stock and that color can be a super deep rich green or you can do a lighter these roots are so beautiful look how white they're looking so good Hopefully they'll do really well in here. I love to also use a really deep red and that's where the Merlot comes in. It is perfect for a green stock because it turns incredibly red. A little seedling of bok choy, purple bok choy. Once you have alternated your purples with the greens and then in between put some more like lighter purples and variegated plants, then add your flowers, and I use pansies. They're perfect for the green stock, and it really will add sort of a texture of color that will make it more interesting to look at. So I put a green one here and a purple up here. And then this is kind of reddish purple, so I think it will be a nice combination. Then you have the red and the purple flower on either side. And then it recalls the red here. And this will have a red little strawberry on it, and this has the purple vining on it. And this is very green next to the purple cabbage. I think the difference on it will be, the contrast will be really beautiful. So I have the first two aisles ready. So let's get going on. I have two more to plant right in here. Lunix, similar to Merlot, but much longer, and I think it will look pretty with all the green around. Okay, and then I have two in here. I think I'm going to do something green here again, and maybe another flower here. My bunny eats those pansies, and we eat them in salads, so we we love the pansies especially if we grow, th grow them ourselves we know they're organic and they make the box look so pretty the green star looks so pretty because there's a lot of green on that side so 
So I like everything that I place on the green stock to be edible. Nothing just for decoration. I want the space to be used since I plant flowers in other places. I don't want to waste any of this at all in just decorating. So I decorate with edible pieces. I'm going to do another arugula that has the purple veining. I have a bee wanting to come to the flowers already. Okay, now we're gonna do the lower half. This apart, and I'm gonna get just one. This is Tatsy, and it's very green, so I think it'll look nice. I'm going to go on the other side over here where everything is purple. There's two of them. I'm going to try to get just one in there. And then here I'm going to do kind of in between the Merlot and the green. So I like this that I showed you before. This is a Celosia. How pretty is that? Yeah, Pablo lettuce. I try to get them as close to the edge as possible so that they get light and they can grow out instead of shoving them in. So this one I put a little too far back so I'm trying to tilt it. This bird is so loud in the background. She always comes here and sits on the tree. She loves the tree. Look at those roots. They are gorgeous, just beautiful. They share the plants did really well. Very happy with the outcome. I try to fill this up as much as I can to the top because as you water and they grow, everything starts sinking. But okay, I think this is all done on this side. So let's go to the next one. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help with the algorithm and to be able to find a lot more cozy gardeners. Three red metlow lettuces to anchor the bottom instead of doing different ones so I'm going to do a row I'm gonna put two seeds on each of these pockets two. and two the cherry rose which is my favorite and then on the bottom I'm going to do all this orchid cream is beautiful and that would anchor the bottom really nicely and i like to i love the narcissians and have um, pesto from the leaves or i can use the leaves for doing uh, pesticide and the flowers are delicious so I can have those on salads and my bunny also like them and the quails like them so narcissians are great I okay, have one more to do I have to order more I'm out Let's go Is this garden bed looking beautiful? Look at all the pansy. I'm a little sad because we're going to be pulling this apart so that we can get the summer crops going. But I wanted to show you how it's doing so far. It is finally beautiful out. This is great how the new spinner allows the water to come out. Really love it. So this is all done and watered. Let's see how it does. I have to get this one done. And I think I'm 
going to start on the bottom. I did the nurse stations here. I'm going to do the different one all the way on the bottom here. Like I said, I love nurse stations also. I didn't tell you, but they are pest control for me. We do get a lot of aphids here because how much rain we get. And the nurse stations will go to these leaves and you can just pick the leaves and throw them out or give them to the quails and that way i don't get any aphids on anything else they just love the narstation leaves and that's where they go they don't go to any of my hydrangea or roses they just go there so it's a pest control a trap and it works extremely well look how beautiful this pansy is so pretty that's probably my favorite. I can't wait to see this all grown. And this one, I'm going to do the opposite, the, the different one that I did on the bottom of the other one, so that there's a contrast. And that way, they are more interesting. So I'm gonna get two. And just so that I know that's where I started. Whoop. I dropped one on the ground. <laughs> It'll grow the air is fine. I'm putting two seeds because these are older packages. And just to make sure and then I'll just take out whatever the extra one later. And one, two. So these are the bottom is done. Okay, I'm gonna do these three on this layer just because they'll go really nicely with the nurse stations and then i'm gonna be doing a lot of kale on this green stock so these are gonna be the orchid which are the same that are on the bottom over there so i want your eye to jump from one to the other and read all this as one is completed I added some stones down here but I have to get uh, the small gravel to put on the perimeter but everything is planted 